Hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to our DLC 8 show, The Sons of Trigon. We are going to be showing you a little bit about DLC 8 and uh, the open world zone that's associated with it called Gotham Wastelands. Um, I'm just going to take care of a couple of quick things here uh, with Mepsy and make sure he is on the channel. Uh, Sons of Trigon is uh, just announced recently. We talked about it a lot at SOE Live. Um, we're going to be running you through the Gotham Wasteland part, as I said. And just to give you a little history of Sons of Trigon, this takes place after the events of um, after the events of uh, Sins of the Father, which is a storyline involving Brother Blood and the Sentinels of Magic in the DCUO launch story. Um, okay, here's Meps right now. Let me see if I can uh, get him on here. Meps, can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you fine. I I'm do a little check of the chat here to make sure everybody can hear both of us okay. You, you guys hear Meps and my and me? How's mm. it going? Let's see. Yep, a little yep, delay. Yep. All right. Okay, good, good, Set. good. Meps is in the Meps cave. I am in the Fortress of Spittletude. Actually, this so really isn't planet. the Fortress of Spittletude, is it, Meps? No, it's not. All right. Well, maybe when you're not here, it can be. No, it can't be. No? Hey, look what I found on the printer. I want to steal it. Somebody printed this out. It wasn't me. I want it. It's very cool. Okay, anyway. So, uh, why don't I just get right into the game here. Uh, I'm going to switch over. So, what we're going to do is, we're gonna, I'm going to give Meps a little bit of, t of a tour of Gotham Wastelands. You haven't seen much of it, have you, Meps? Not a whole lot, no. Okay, so you're are you curious? I'm, I'm excited. I want to hear it from the expert, you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get to it then. All right. Finish the group invite though. Oh, you wanna you wanna be in my group? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I try and be a little more selective of who I group with. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Brick with you. What's that? Yeah, brick with you. Whoa. Brick's the man. Are you trying to say you you compete with with brick? I think <sighs> I can compete with brick. All right. Let's see. There we go. I'll get the interface right one of these days. Hello, Meps. Oh, you're a healer. That's perfect. You can help me if I get into trouble during this demo. That'll be yeah. great. That's why I'm a healer. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm about to give myself uh, one of the missions here. And I tweeted out something a little while ago, Meps, that was a bit of a teaser. You know how I'm prone to do that, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> as are other people in the community and much to their dismay. And I said that there was going to be some news concerning Wonder Woman that was going to make Wonder Woman fans, I think I used the term, squee. Yes, what's that about? Well, everybody turn up your volume. Why don't we have a little listen here and somebody can tell me what that's about. This is Wonder Woman. I'm contacting everyone I trust. This is a mission of great importance. The threat of Trigon has returned. The Sentinels of Magic managed to stop Brother Blood's work and were able to trap Trigon in a realm between realms. But the barrier between worlds is weakening. It has been revealed that Raven is not Trigon's only child. You must travel to this wasteland. Our entire world is in danger. Hurry, and speak with me once you arrive at the garrison. Okay, I have to say, Meps, I don't think I've ever seen the chat explode like that before. They got pretty excited. <laughs> Yeah. So for those of you that might not be that much of a Wonder Woman buff or into sort of any of the animated series that we've seen, we, uh, we had uh, Gina Torres, who's a terrific actress, was, did our Wonder Woman at launch. And much like, you know, we've, we've sort of in the past had the opportunities to let other people take a stab at the role. I kind of look at this MEPS like a Broadway show. You know, like they'll have someone that sort of originates the, the role, but then they'll have somebody else come in and give it a, and give it a go as well. So okay. I want people to know that Susan Eisenberg is actually coming on to take the role of Wonder Woman on and lending her voice expertise to it. We know she's been a fan favorite in all of the animated stuff that she's been involved with and much requested, um, you know, sort of a, 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 of an opportunity for her to come on and do the role. And we had an opportunity. She was interested. And... We went for it. So what do you guys think? You guys psyched out there in the chat? I actually saw somebody say squee several times. So that's 
That's good. I think I think yep. that's good. Yeah, there's of more getting squeeze. Censored here by for using too many yeah. caps. So that's a good sign. <laughs> yes, that's a good sign that they're all going. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Wow, I've never quite seen it move that quickly with such uh, unified response before. So it's awesome. So we're going to go through um, the mission, a few missions right now, and you're going to hear Susan's voice a lot, so you'll get to get an idea of what she's bringing to the character. Um, so that's really exciting. So here, why don't you follow me? Let's go, let's go uh, check out the actual content. So we're in the Watchtower right now. All right, yeah, so we're headed to the Gotham Wastelands, right? Yes, and so the, the, the way you get into the Gotham Wastelands from the Watchtower and from the Hall of Doom, but we're going to show this from the hero perspective tonight, um, is through the Magic Wing. So you can see here the, on the mini-map, it's pointing me in this direction. I'm going to come up here um, where all of the um, uh, vendors are, with the Shazam, Captain Marvel-inspired armor, and the Doctor Fate... Uh, Raven-inspired armor there, sorry. And uh, here's the volume for the Gotham Wastelands, the teleporter pad. So why don't we go ahead and head over there right now. All right. What CR do you have to be to do this? Uh, I believe it's same as uh, DLC 8. DLC or 7. 7, sorry. So 7. 84. So 84, I believe, yes. So here we go. Here is, this is called the Hero Refuge. There's one for villains in here too, and you can see it's by the uh, hospital, Gotham Mercy nice. here. And what's see happened a bunch of here? Iconics here? Yeah, there are a bunch of Run iconics. Patrol, you can see Beast Boy. Patrol, patrol. I wonder if the Sentinels are allowed to date. Yeah, he's kind of on the prowl here a lot. Always hitting on the uh, on the female Sentinels of Magic. I'm worried about it's Raven. Her brothers are real creeps. So the Sons of Trigon basically are named, are the, the DLC is named after the Sons of Trigon. Raven is a child of Trigon, though a daughter. So there are six other uh, characters that are her brothers, and they are the Sons of Trigon, each one representing a sin. Raven is pride, and then we have wrath, gluttony, uh, greed, sloth, uh, envy, and which one did I miss? I forget. Anyway, I rattled them off too fast. Um, so, oh, who's that? Uh, who is that? Okay, more on that later. Let's not look at that really quick. Um, so let's talk to Wonder Woman. There is no time to lose. Circe and Brother Blood are here as well, and they are rallying their forces. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocent people have been brought here only to be tortured by the Sons of Trigon. Speak with the others to get started immediately. Okay, so will you get this pointer mission to come here into the uh, Gotham Wastelands? It sends you to the refuge. If you were a villain, you'd be going to the villain refuge, which is on the other side of the map. Uh, this is a shared space. 24 players can get in here, heroes and villains, so you will be seeing some potential emergent PvP going on here, yes. um, depending on who sort of pops up when they pop up. So each day you'll be able to get some missions from these, uh, from these guys. You can get one from Constantine. People only think about death when they think it's coming for them. Demons, Thing is, cultists, it's always villains, coming for paparazzi. them. None of them are welcome here. And we can get one from Zatanna. Uh, Constantine will give you the one for Jared, which is Wrath over by the cathedral. And Zatanna gives you the ones for um, Lust. And Cyborg handles Envy, and he's over here. Each of Trigon's are... sons seek to be the one to free their father. Our job is to stop them. Jesse is invoking Envy near the Nightstone. Go there and await further instructions. Okay. And then lastly, Donna will give you the uh, quest or the mission to go and do the bounty for Raven. Now Raven, as we know in the Sins of the Father storyline, gets split into two versions of herself, her soul selves, her dark and light soul self. So uh, heroes will be taking on her uh, dark soul self and villains her light soul self. Coming Trigon here has allowed Trigon's influence family. to test They're Raven's wrong. resolve. She needs our help to resist him. Defeat Raven's evil soul projection at the mausoleum grounds. Okay. And then um, it's really interesting, too, Meps. I don't know if you noticed this new icon right here. Uh, we've had camera interactions in the game before, but they always just look like the normal cog that you get over, you know, for knocking someone out or whatever. Right. These particular, uh, we put some new icons in that you're going to notice to sort of give more context to what the players are doing when they're interacting with things. This is a new icon that represents whether or not when you interact with this thing, you're going to get a camera. We've put all of these tour cameras all over the Gotham Wasteland so you can get a better idea of the story and what's going on. You mind if I click on one now and give them a peek? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Cyborg here with Beast Boy. Wonder Woman has asked us to scout and report on locations of interest. Beast Boy, why don't you start with explaining this area? 
Beast Boy? Beast Boy? Gar! Oh, wait, what? Oh, sorry, I was just, uh, scouting the Lady Sentinels at camp. I bet. Anyway, this is base camp. We're monitoring our progress against Trigon Sons from this point. Right. What he said. Okay, so you'll see these all over the place, and they give some context, you know, to what's going on in the area, a little backstory and things like that, and you can interact with them or not as you choose if you just want to get a little idea of what's going on. You can see they give you a better view of the area. Yeah, um, that was that was pretty awesome. This zone is shaping up nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what's this? Whoo! Sentinel Bonet might actually have some new gear for sale, and you can see here it is Raven-inspired from the new 52 suit and I'm actually wearing it right now so here's the male version with my custom colors on it um, and you can see the the look of the new armor yeah, which um, I think is uh, pretty cool she really, definitely really wears it better I would say really why do you yeah. have to be like that you're in you don't even have pants on you're just nothing but a robot man a robot in here no pants needed. <laughs> All right, so this is this is the Raven New 52 inspired gear. Uh, the other gear that you'll be getting and collecting uh, in the Sons of Trigon are based off of uh, the Holy and Blessed, or their cursed and corrupted trees, actually in um, uh, uh, the Celestial Powers. And one's called Exalted, and one is called, I believe, Corrupted. And you'll get those. You can also get a Brother Blood inspired one on the villain side as well. All right, but you know what? Let's let's actually get out here and start taking a look at what is going on in this zone. So here, take a little peek. You can just look over okay. the ridge right here. Look at that skybox. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So what's cool. going on in the sky up there? What am I seeing? Uh, that's a moon. Uh, that's actually the moon. So what's happened here is the Sentinels did a counter spell when the Brother Blood actually tried to summon Trigon. And he got caught halfway in between his realm and ours. And it created this sort of like pocket dimension where half of Gotham got actually mashed up with part of Trigon's realm. So you can see all this destruction and cataclysm and this cataclysmic event that happened when they merged together. Um, so we'll explore this area. But in the sky, you can see on the left two very distinct stars that are on the left right. of the moon. And Meps, do you notice how the moon is actually waxing and waning? It's yeah, it's we're shadowing. That's, yeah, so okay. it's really, really kind of quite that's beautiful. Awesome. And uh, that's no moon. Haha, <laughs> get it, Meps? Do you get that one? It actually is a moon, and I did get that one. So Yay! That's the second movie reference I've gotten in the last. Week. I know we were going to share that on FNL that you actually got a movie reference on the plane on the way back from Vegas. We'll we'll talk yeah. about that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so you can see the moon up there, and the two stars on the left represent Trigon's split soul, the light and the dark. And the six stars on the right, there's a green one, an orange one, a red one, um, various colors, yellow and everything like that, that you can see represent the other sons of Trigon. And each of them have an area in here. Well, three of them do. And the other three are in cahoots with two the, of them. The left ones are Raven split soul, right? Yes, correct. So the ones on the left represent Raven, and then the ones on the right represent the other sons, her brothers. Very okay. cool. So let's go actually that, go down in here and check this yeah, out. Yeah, what's that red light off in the distance there? Oh, um, that is a central area where the bounties are. We can go over there and check that out if you want. Let's go do that. And you can see a bunch of the uh, environment along the way, a lot of the subway tracks from Gotham kind of uprooted here. Big, huge lava waterfalls coming down into this landscape. Kooky Trigon, Trigonish horns and other kind of things sticking out of the ground. And you can see, you know, in Robinson Park, uh, Meps, there's all those floating, like, uh, you know, volcanic chunks of earth being ripped out of the ground due to Brother right. Blood's ritual. You can see that kind of theme here continuing. We're kind of on an island, um, you know, surrounded by an endless sea, endless void. And you can see these other chunks of earth, uh, parts of Gotham City that have been uprooted and are now floating in the sky. So over here is a... Um, this is one of the central areas. This is like the main portal that uh, the ritual took place in. And it's underneath. This was like sort of an area in Robinson Park here. And you'll recognize this as the sort of portal you go down to as a villain to actually take on and, and watch that ritual that Trigon actually, when he's, his spirit is put into our realm. Where you and, face the titans, right? Yeah, you face the titans in that. Um, you know, Trigon possessed titans. So a lot of cultists uh, at war here. The Sentinels of Magic and the Brother Blood cultists and the Envy cultists all fighting each other in big melees and munges around this area. Which you can choose to... Oh! Are you getting... Who's, who's this? Oh, Celestial Test. Somebody's in here testing Celestial. 
All right, well, no sneak peeks of that. I know everyone's going to be enraged in the chat right now. No, uh, go back and look at what away. they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is Raven's evil soul projection. And I got a mission from Donna Troy to come over here and, um, and take her on. So let's actually do that right now. She's going to be really tough. So she's meant for four people. Um, not or more not really meant for me just the likes of me and you do you have any like hat on or anything like that I do not have a hat on but I have right. gear now okay all right and so, I got the watcher up so we're fine all right you, you're okay you better keep me alive all right so we'll start we'll start I this off here your rage so here comes a big giant raven you can see you scaled her up a little bit here too for when you're fighting her all right now she's gonna take a while for me to get down if we were gonna do this for real it would be like chopping wood so yeah. one Go thing ahead. to know though is that she's sort of not not on her own here um you'll By be able to Azar. see that in a second here if we get her a little further down oh actually and do you want to do me a favor oh, yeah, yeah well no don't kill her yeah, just, yeah. i'm sorry would you like me to harm her so yes harm her a little bit let's accelerate this on its way here so people don't want to see me chopping a tree because i'm by myself Okay, there we I'm go. I'm here. You're not by yourself. Oh, that's true. Okay, so she'll summon up some, uh, she'll call in some projections of herself, and that's not all. If you want to here we go. Raven soul, you'll have to go through us. Here's some five people. They will show up and actually try and help her out during this fight. Oh, I'm dying. You're dying? Might need to go god mode. Why, why doesn't somebody just tank for me? I'm What's trying, that? I'm trying. What? Okay, so here's Dr. Light over here. He's one of the fearsome five. You got Mammoth here doing his thing. You can see Simon, Jinx, and uh, Gizmo. So when you're on the villain side, you're going to be actually fighting the Titans will come out to help good, good Raven's good soul self. On the hero side, you're going to be dealing with Raven. She's shielded up right now. You can't actually attack her anymore. So you have to kind of clear out the fearsome five before you can actually take her on. So a bunch of new Your characters here, all just showing up right weak. out of the gate in a big, huge fight. I am so who are, these, who are these guys, the Fearsome Five? The Fearsome guys. Five, they're kind of like the uh, enemies of the Teen Titans or the Titans. And um, mm. they formed up this group. Mammoth is their big, strong guy. You can see him over there. Simon is their kind of mental, uh, he's Simon really hyper-intelligent. He's scared. got uh, a bunch of... Um, you know, mental powers. Dr. Light, of course, kind of name says it all. He has light powers. He's a really controversial character. Um, you know, had in uh, many of the stories, he's not a very no. nice guy. He's even been sort of almost no. lobotomized and memory erased and all that kind of stuff. So heroes Stop have done that. some questionable things as well around Dr. Light's storyline. Here's Gizmo. Oh. Gizmo summons up copters, and he's like an inventor. Oh. And then, of course, you have Jinx. Um, on the other side there, and she's like a sorceress kind of character. And Gizmo's got ah. some funny video. Very cool. You are and these guys weak. are all uh, actually in the, the villain hub, right? Uh, yeah, these guys, some of these guys are at the villain hub walking around uh, doing patrols and things like that, acting as bouncers. Mammoth actually acts as a bouncer over by the villain hub. We can go over there and you can see him punt me. You um, insignificant. And then, of course, you've got your main iconics, like you had Constantine and Cyborg and Zatanna and those guys over on the, in the hero garrison. You've got the Stop same thing going on with, like, Giganta and Gentleman Ghost and Cheetah over at the villain garrison. Stop that! Where's Mammoth? There he is. Okay, so Raven comes back in now because we've defeated her reinforcements that she called in, the Fearsome Five. And then we can, you know, take her down and we would get credit for the bounty. And the bounties are the ways Bye that you can get Azar. the styles from the other side. So if there were some specific hero or villain styles, like if you like this Raven outfit oh. and stuff, you'll be able to get that off of doing Oh, so bounties. if you're a villain, you can actually get the, yeah. the hero outfit. Yeah, oh. you just That's have to pretty cool. do this content. I approve of that. All right, you we can we can probably just accelerate this along a little bit if you want Wait, if you want to want here. To well done. Okay, so dare I look at my loot? Look at all my lock boxes that you get on this server. Let's see. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, I got a chit of exaltations rewards. Hmm. Nice. I like it. Okay. Let's go up really quick, um, although, gosh, I'm tempted to go down this way because do you see all these like huge pillars and floating islands over here to the south? You there with me? Meps? Uh-oh. 
I'm back, I'm back. Oh, what happened? Um, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, okay. Um, hey, yeah, before we go, go over there, let's let's go over to the villain starting area. We won't be able to get very close. Are they going to punt us? Yeah, they'll probably punt us. Okay. Can or they punt me when they god mode? Uh, I don't know. You can <laughs> test it if we'll you want. We'll find out. <laughs> Alright, so they'll be down in this area. I'm going to fly above. Like so oh, I got punted. Yeah. And I got punted. All right, so it's up there. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get too close. In fact, I got punted in a very weird way. I, did you get punted? I did not, so if you want to go god mode. Yeah, I'll go god mode. Oops. There you want me to summon you over? Nah, I'm almost there. Okay. Here we go. So now you can see kind of mammoth. Mammoth and Jinx, they're they're on patrol. Just like on the other side, you'll see the Titans on, on patrol and stuff. We'll go over there and take a look at some of the other folks. And the starting area will have Circe and Brother Blood. Uh, you can see um, Cheetah right here. Gentleman Ghost. He looks really cool. Look at this Celestial Test guy live stream bombing our live stream. I know, what's up with that? Well, we're on a test, uh, one of the internal servers here we use to test this stuff. So it's not surprising. Here's Giganta. So this is your starting area over here, and you can see here's the Brother Blood armor vendor for the villains. That's what that gear set looks like. Very cool. Mm. Okay. All right, where are we going? Hero. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go over to this area over here because you had mentioned the that structure over to the south. That's actually the Wrath area. That's where Jared hangs out. Jared is. Um, the son of Trigon who embodies wrath. He's like all yoked out like Bane, big, big, really big dude, very angry. Um, all of the sons of Trigon have these four eyes on their, uh, you know, two normal sets of eyes and then two eyes above that up on their forehead. And so you can see right here uh, that theme running through a lot of the NPCs, especially the demons themselves. And I think we've mentioned this in the past, but um, you're going to be seeing, oh, you know what, Meps? I gotta give myself a couple of uh, the quests, that I, the missions I wanted to show. So just right. give me one second while I do that. Um, okay. If there was a question in the chat that I can answer well, while I'm typing these in. Well, we go back, there was a little bit of confusion earlier when we talked about PvP out here in the Gotham Wastelands. I uh, just wanted to clarify, that's, um, that's just the way the rest of the open world works. You're in the PvP phase or the PvE phase, so. It's it's not always. It's only you know your choice. Clear that up. And now, if there are any questions, I'll try to grab them. Will Susan revoice all of Wonder Woman's lines? All of Wonder yeah. Woman's lines, with the exceptions of the comic book cutscenes, have been revoiced by Susan Eisenberg. Very cool. So all of the collections, all of the past VO that we had in the game, uh, ha she's sort of taking over the mantle of that role and putting her stamp on it now. Got it. All right. So I've got my, I, I believe I've got my mission set up here. So we can take a look at this area. I, I love this Wrath area. It's centered around the cathedral. Um, so you can kind of see a lot of themes of the things that are around the cathedral, like the graveyard and things like that. All of this, imagine like there was this huge earthquake as, you know, this, these two realms were colliding together and things were displaced and disrupted. And it's just a different landscape with some very familiar, but, uh, uh, you know, kind of landmarks on it, but put together in a very, very different way. I love these roads and railroad tracks that just go nowhere. I know. <laughs> they go in straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the cathedral. You can get a look at it from the outside here. We're not gonna go in there today, but this is the location of one of the duos inside there, and it's just a beautiful environment. Dare I actually, I'll show, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going inside. rogue, I'm stepping inside. Can't help myself. Right. Yeah, this is, Can't help this is myself. pretty impressive. Now, a bunch of our attendees from SOE Live got to see uh, some of this stuff during the keynote. Just a little bit of it. But hey, we even have Skeets. Booster Gold is a marketing dynamo. He is good. He can even get yep. his stuff into hell. a plane of hell. 
<laughs> he is incredible. You must okay. prevent Jared from completing the wrath ritual. It will make him far too powerful. All right, let's get a look at Jared so people can see what that looks like. Actually, you know what? We got to get out of here. I got I to just yeah, we gotta, because we're, we're not supposed to be showing this right now. We gotta I'm going to get in trouble. But yep, check, out some of the, check out some of the beautiful environments here. It's, it's just right. nice from the doorway. We'll, we'll let that be a tease. Yeah. People will see it. Yes, they will. Okay, let's get out of here. Actually, the exit's right over here. there you go. I was going to go in there just so I could show Jared, but nah. We'll do that later. Next okay. Next time. Next time. Okay, let's get out here. We're back under the creepy starry sky. Go over and talk to the person that we're supposed to talk to. There's a sentinel over here. Here he is right here. Sentinel Zhang. Greetings, my friend. Several of our allies have been in the field for too long. They've been overwhelmed by the wrath energy in this area. They've become far too powerful for me to handle alone. If you subdue So the heroes here are trying to obviously them stop back to base for treatment. Trigon. What are the uh, villains here well, doing? Uh, the villains are working for Cersei. She's trying to I don't know how much I want to say about that right now, but she's That's she's funny. got her own agenda that doesn't exactly align with Brother Bloods, and you find out more about that in the alert where you face Trigon. Got but it. she she does have a major objective. Her initial goal with this whole Trigon thing was to use Brother Blood to get Trigon into our realm, and then she was going to capitalize on that by stealing his power. So she wanted the power of this interdimensional demon for herself. That seems reasonable. Yeah. All right, you know what I'm going to do really quick, Maps, is I'm going to toggle my hate off, okay? okay. Um, and I'm going to just, you, you stay back here. I'm going to just walk over, check out the new Wrath Demon models that we have. So these, these models are going to be taking the place of all the old Sin Demons that we had running around in the city at launch, the ones you see in Robinson Park. They're all going to start getting the facelift and looking like this right now. We were never truly happy with those models, and we are really psyched for the new ones that, are, that have been built. So these things look awesome, and this is just one of the new models of the, of the Seven Sins, sorry, the Six Sins that we have. Raven, of course, doesn't have the Sin demons. Alright, let me so get back into this. it's not just new in here, it's also new out in the open it's world. It's also going to be new out in the open world. Oh, and I, I definitely got this guy angry. Can I help? Sure. And uh, everyone should take note of the uh, icons. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, at, at Spittle, uh, you got some prized tidbits of information yesterday, some sneak peeks at the various options you're going to have with these um, uh, icons, but you can also you also saw the new versions of them, which you can kind of see in action right here. Much much smaller, a little more crisp, uh, less intrusive, and you'll have options to turn them on and off. So I have to go get these. Oh, dude, dude, somebody's watching us. Do you see it? No, no. Right here. This creepy red eye. Oh yeah, that is kind of creepy. Yeah, they just kind of wander around. They're all over the place. I mean, follow you, <laughs> watch you. It's really creepy. Of course, then you have the imps running around as well that are collecting the soul energy in various areas. But let's get going here. we got to get this rogue sentinel. The sentinels have been working in here for so long as some of them are actually starting to fall under the sway of the power of the sins, uh, as are the titans and the fearsome five that are in here. So we're going right now at the request of that sentinel, as you heard just a moment ago, to try and get these guys back on the straight and narrow here. Stay in school, rogue sentinel. All right, so we tied them up, teleported them back to their taskmaster. Jared gives us so purpose. Where are these citizens coming from? This guy looks like he's in pain. Oh yeah, um, you'll notice now in the open world, once uh, Sons of Trigon releases, that there are some uh, new, new, new encounters that are replacing the paradox uh, portals or the paradox ruptures that are in the cities, and you're gonna see. You're going to see these uh, cultists, the Envy cultists and the Wrath cultists and the Lust cultists are all abducting people from the cities to try and harvest the sinful energy that lies within the human soul. And uh, these are the rituals that they're conducting. So the Wrath guys are having these, these people fight to the death and ensuing the rage within their hearts and fanning the flames of Wrath. And uh, the, the Lust guys are obviously trying to create more devotion and infatuation with Jacob. And uh, the Envy guys are doing the same for Jesse around the night zone. We'll get to all those areas, and you'll see each of the cults and the demons that work for them. So are you on Team Jacob or Team Jesse? Oh, boy. Really? <laughs> well, <laughs> really? Are you a Twilight fan, Ted? 
Did you uh, read the really. books? You read I the haven't. books, didn't you? You did, Should admit I it. Need your help once you like sparkly vampires. Next to me is the latest iteration <laughs> of the Wrath no comment. Morpher. From Would maps. you indulge me in a little test? Activate it to appear as a Wrath Demon. Okay. If you please, All right, so we, wait, so save those guys. Seers, and I will file the results for further study. Okay, we missed a little bit of his VO, but what they want me to do is now you can see tier two. Look, we got a new icon. It indicates that when you do this interact, you're going to be going into a disguise. So you're going to start. We're, what we're trying to do is really make this a lot more easier as we intended initially with these icons to give you more context about the action and the results you're going to have. So you can see this is a disguise one, and I'm going to be taking on the guise of one of these uh, rash demons. Nice. And don't I look nice? Look at Brick. Brick had to go away. You notice that? Brick Brick went away. Yeah, well, he couldn't handle it. Well, no, Brick has like spiky shoulders and, and all kinds of, and on his back too. I think he gets a little miffed that I'm kind of ripping off his style. Uh, it's like, sense. find your own look, dude. Find your own look. All right, I got a couple of powers that I can do with this guy. Got an AE of rage. Protects me. And I can also do this really cool breath attack where he kind of breathes out some wrathful energy. Why? All right, there we go. All right, now I'm looking for some very specific, very specific guys in here. There they are. There's an overseer. And I'm trying to get these guys really mad at energy. each other. And, you know, in Robinson Park, when you do the Sins of the Father stuff, you're taking on guises of all the demons, so it's kind of fitting that we're doing that here as well. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. You won't stop me. Would you say how many abilities you have? Do you have I have two on? right now. Just two? Uh, well, also my basic combos. You know, these guys are brawlers, so I can do right. brawling combos if I'm familiar. Oh, good lord, Meps. Uh, well, we just had a uh, Lesser oh. Wrath Demon pop on us. Okay, He's over there in the background. Can you see him? Raven yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Here he is. He's got the big tail. No. Did we get him? Did you kill him? Did you did cheat not. him? Oh, no, you no, didn't. didn't. Okay, good. Him. Oh, there he is. There's two of them now. Ouch. Okay, maybe you should. No. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Was we got just this. Doing too many imps coming out, too. I thought the imps didn't aggro. Yeah, they will if you attack them. I've been I'm so angry with my wrathful attacks that I am uh will break. Get over here. Hey, carry me for a second, because I gotta get this this computer just went into screensaver on me. Okay. Save me, Mep, save me. No! Oh we got it. Okay, good. Oh, I accidentally undid my disguise. I tried to put use a power that's mine and not yeah, on the demon. So, in your demon I nice. know. But you can always just go back to the transmogrifier or transmorpher. A little Calvin and Hobbes on my brain there. I'm pretty and much going to die. Here we go. Well, come back. Come over to me because I'm, I'm not coming back over to you. I've got a ch I've got so you a left me behind. I did because I have a choice objective right in front of me and it's too much of a bother to go into the middle of the minefield and save you. Save me. Okay. <laughs> oh, pay. I'm a loyal friend, aren't I? What'd you bring this guy back over for? That's the third wrath demon we have. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, close quarters in here. Yeah, uh, it's really tight. You got to be careful about where you content, pull from. There'll be a lot of people here, but Offend. careful. Now, 24 people can be in this zone, um, and those can be a, a mix of heroes and villains. Oh, actually, we're done. We don't need to kill this guy. Just go ahead and nuke him for us. So we can move on quickly. Hey, there you go. For that. All right, so then we head back over here. Talk to Sentinel Zhang again. The transmorpher worked as well as I could hope. Thank you for your assistance. You're so welcome. But I need your help one more time. The cult needy, of needy, wrath needy, is needy. growing stronger in this area. They have furious leaders that draw strength from their minions and, in turn, empower their followers. To defeat them, you'll need to defeat their followers as well. Dude, look at the moon over there. It's just almost all dark. Stars in the sky, the music all creepy. It's really turned out well. I was really happy with how this... The immersion factor here is pumped up mm -hmm. a notch. Creepy watchers staring you and following you. 
Alright, I don't need to be in this form anymore, so let's get Brick back. I'm sorry, Brick, I did not mean to cramp your spiky shoulder style. I'm back in my own raving gear now, so... Alright, now we're looking for the... the boss. Like a boss! Like a sub-boss. What's the boss? The Lord of Fury. He's a cultist. I'm gonna toggle hate again so you can get a good look at this guy. Why don't you just hang out back there? Okay. So check him out. Look, he's got like... Wrath parchment spells on there. The instead of armor, he actually has these magical pieces of paper that give him protection. And you can see his uh, cool gauntlets and bracers there. Some of the pieces on this guy will be available for through collections and things like that, so you can get get that some of the select pieces of gear there. All right, let's do this. You are weak. I've got nothing on the map. Senares. I do not bleed. Savior. So these cast Eeres. spells here, doing rituals, Eeres. trying to harness the energy. Eeres. The cultists Eeres. come in to help him. Savior. Eere. Enough. Get that Lord of Fury. All right, he's down. All right, so... In each of these areas, and we'll go over and check out one last part of this one before we head back, you're, there are um, 12 different uh, missions that you can do in here, daily solo missions. And there's three, or sorry, four for each of the three areas. Four in the Wrath area by the Cathedral, four in the Envy area by the Knight's Dome, and four in the Lust area by Amusement Mile. And each of these um, in missions... In an effort to garner oh, more Wrath energy... Jared's followers are pushing their victims beyond their emotional breaking points. Find them and help them before they become as berserk as everyone else. So the Wrath guys have these fighting arenas kind of set up here where people are getting tapping into their rage and stuff. So all kinds of missions in each of these areas. But one thing we don't wanted to do was, um, you know, make sure that you had a, a bit of a some fast travel options here if you wanted to. So if you get all the way over to this Wrath area and the Cathedral Peninsula, there are um, various ways for you, like this one right here, to, to kind of quickly teleport back to the Hero Garrison. Right, so, this is actually a pretty sizable area. Yeah, it's pretty big. Kind of a lot of running. It's pretty big. So here we are back at the Hero Garrison. And I would be able to go back in, and we actually completed the Donna Troy, so I can go if I want Raven to. I can lost use some control. replay badges. Her evil and soul projection is split from her psyche and is trying um, to But her when you complete these quests or these missions, you come back and talk to Wonder Woman. If Jared thinks he's angry now, I can't wait to see the look on his face when we stop his plan to become his father's vessel. Now, you can see each of the sons are competing to become like the father's herald or the father's vessel when he finally makes passage into our realm. So they're all kind of working together because they want to hit their dad to succeed, but they are... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody hung a sign up in this window that says, Brick is a dirty, rotten cheater. <laughs> it's just staring me in the face, and I finally noticed it. <laughs> Did you do that, Meps? I didn't do that. I though. wish I could t turn the camera around and show you that. I'm Rick in the Meps cave. Is a dirty, rotten cheater. I, I think you're responsible. You probably organized that. Anyway, I'll take a picture of that and tweet it out for everyone. Uh, so you'll notice that in my journal here, when I talk to Constantine, I talk to Wonder Woman, and I, I you know, I get the Constantine quest, I mission, I, I talk to Wonder Woman again, and I've got a running, a running mission here which is uh, Retribution at the Cathedral. And you can see I've completed two daily missions from John Constantine over involving Jared at the Cathedral. And I get rewards for each of those. But when I complete five of them, I will get this reward and I will unlock a bonus boss fight in one of the duos so I can take on the fourth, fifth, and sixth son after I take on the son that's uh, themed after the mission. This will become more clear when we talk about the duos, but just know that a running total of your uh, uh, wrath missions, envy missions, and lust missions will allow you to unlock a special mission inside the duo to get even extra loot if you can defeat the boss in there. So we're going to go and uh, do the envy, envy one right now. Okay. And let's see here. Is it Envy to Die For? Yes, that's the one I want. Okay, so let's head over. This was uh, this was Cyborg that gave us this mission. So we'll head over to the Envy area now. We're going to leave the Hero Garrison. Actually, before I do, let's see if we can't see a couple, maybe a cameo of, uh, of somebody new in this area. 
He's a little elusive. He wanders around a lot on patrol. I don't see him right now. We'll have to come back and say, oh, there he is. There he is. Superboy! What's up, Connor? I hope some villains show up and start something. He's all tough and ready to go. There's Connor. Connor can't. Connell. He's super like boy. Me. He's kind of like what? Like me. You think he looks like you in real life? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> I mean, in real life. Maybe if he didn't eat a sandwich for a few years, he would end up looking like you. <laughs> I, I, that's mean. You need to eat a sandwich, Meps. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's you go, started let's it. Let's go to the area of envy. Okay, let's do that. That seems relevant right now. <laughs> All right, so we're flying. Let's just fly over this time. You can kind of get a good idea of what the main area looks like from overhead. You saw the the wrath area over there. We're going to head over to the Envy area. This is how you get to the Lust area in Amusement Mile, but we're going to skip by that for right now and head over to Envy. And uh, I didn't show you the Good Raven, but here she is just right here on the other side. And here are these guys. I want to, mm, kind of want to beat them up, but nah. We'll save that for later. Oh, no! I got aggro! Ah, well, you're on your cultists. own. I'm going to go check out the Envy area while Okay, all right. Fair enough. I'm on my way. Just in the middle of combat scenario. There we go. All right. So you can see all the buildings, like, kind of up on the sides and everything like that as well. As, and uh, some of them are actually in the top of the rocks. Yeah, there's buildings up on the tops of the of the cliffs, the, up all on the buttes, together. on fire and things like that as well. Lava, does it hurt? You'll find out when it launches. No, it doesn't hurt. This is repulsive. I still think envy a lava demons should be are using an orb of irresistible magic to compel people to envy one another. Put a stop to it by destroying the orbs. Speaking of demons, cultists are performing a ritual that will summon a demon to this realm. Disrupt those rituals. Demons are one thing we have plenty of here. I'm sorry, it's just I, I prefer the sound of Susan Eisenberg's voice over yours. We I know it's some victims with unusually elevated levels of envy. Their envy is so great that they attack anyone who approaches them. These attacks are so brutal, envy cultists have been unable to harvest sinful energy from them. This buildup of energy is highly volatile and must be dispersed or purified. Subdue these victims and release them from their envy. All right, so we saw the wrath cultists oh. earlier. These are envy cultists. And they have, uh, the Wrath Cultists have more of a red thing to match Jared's theme. And the, uh, you can see here the Envy Cultists doing more of a green kind of pale white theme. Uh, the idea behind the Envy Cultists that the artist had was to make them feel kind of, I don't know, it's not gluttony in terms of fanish, but I was sort of feeling empty and wanting something else somebody had. So here's another new icon. It's the sort of disrupt, break, or smash. So you can see here we are disrupting this uh, ritual. We just got credit for that, for the summoning. Pretty cool. You will not interfere. Now, if you don't get this in time, you will end up a, a envy demon will actually appear out of this summoning ritual. So you have to be quick and get these guys down, or you will be getting ads. And of course, our contribution rules apply. Uh, you know, you can have multiple people come in here as long as they have the quest. You'll be getting credit. You'll all be getting credit for it, even if you're not grouped. But they are balanced to be a solo challenge. But you, uh, you know, depending on your skill level, you might find them. Yeah, we were too slow, so we ended up getting a envy demon there. And they, those look really great too. I didn't even get to show that because we killed it so fast. Let's actually. I'm gonna. Uh, Nah, we'll run into him again. All right, so we got one of those because we missed it. Now we have these tortured civilians. These are some more people, and they're they're acting a little differently in this area than they do in the uh, in the wrath area. You can see they're actually fighting over the envy energy that the yeah. imps and the demons are having. And the cultists want them to harvest. They look angry. Yeah, they look really angry. So I'm going to grab this envy energy and I'm going to take it to where it needs to go, which is this uh, this ritual uh, tub here, whatever it's called. I'm going to cast my magic spell on it and then I have disrupted the irresistible magic the orbs of irresistible magic okay here we go hey there's two of them here actually if we can get both mine, these groups uh, you can grab one I'll grab the other oh. kill them all 
I'm sorry, knock them out. Poor civilians, it's not their fault. Yeah, we don't want to actually hurt them. Smelly civilian, it's not your a, fault. Stop, it's a really bad day in hell. You don't get that reference either, do you? No. Oh, man. Smelly cat. You don't know Smelly cat? Oh, I do know Smelly cat, but oh, you just good. sung it really badly. I did. Oh, you don't like my voice? Here's the envy demons. Look pretty cool. You'll be seeing those guys in the open world now, too. They look awesome. They kind of have these hollow stomachs because they feel envious and empty all the time. They're, they are kind of mummified. Hey, grab this, man. Do something useful. I'm killing this it, dude. Take that where it needs to go. Right. Where's yours going? Probably the other direction, right? Oh, no, you have this have one, this, too? I don't have this task, so... Oh, well, just drop it by me, then. Yep, I'll follow you. Oh, I got aggro. Of course you Train. did. Train. Of course you did. Yeah, counter. Eat it, oh, cultist. You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Give me that thing. Put that down. <laughs> Drop that. Oops. Don't throw it. <laughs> circle, circle. Oh, I did it on purpose. You did I triangle. All right, let's go over this way. You have no right to take right, that. They are fighting over some others. Bloop. All right, and then I saw one over here, so let's get these guys. Mainly, you don't have to worry about these dudes too much, especially if you have other people. They're not really tough. It's just uh, they will interrupt you and make you drop this. They they do actively try and knock it out of your hands and it's, then they try and grab it themselves so it's really they're sort of trying to snatch it away from you because they envy what you have right all right now we got to disrupt more of these rituals because we screwed up on that other one we tried to do let's go find some more of the guys that are doing the rituals there's a ritual right there you cannot stop what we have started oh, i resent that the ritual is almost complete. Oh, we got the other one too. You are Try and kill late. the guy I'm on first. Or not kill uh oh, we got a lot of ads. Yeah, it's it's tight in here. Get off some counters. There we go. No. Oh gosh lord. Oh. Brick. Transference, activate. Ugh. Ugh. Did you draw these Yours guys over here? Mine. It's gotta yes. be your fault. I pretty much trained oh, I think we're gonna get some envy demons because it's gonna take way too long I to do this now. That. Get the guys with the knockouts first. Then I'll try and snap taunt these guys. And maybe you your strikes are meaningless. Can inter oh, let's see if I can get this interact off. Distract them, Meps! Distract them! Distract them better than that! No, no! I am envy here demon. to breed envy amongst the mortals. Oh, so sad. I know. Well, we ended up getting two, and therefore it took too long. Ah. It's all right. We'll do this better next time. Okay. There we go. All right. This this one looks nice and tucked of envy. in here. You cannot stop what we have started. Oh. Your strikes are meaningless. Oh, the pain! Oh! We call upon an incarnation of pure and oh, I resent that. Oh, he countered me. I couldn't see him. Come forth, I countered him back. Envy. Okay. We call upon an incarnation of pure envy. Come forth. Demon All right, good. of envy. Let's get these guys. The ritual is almost complete. What is this you green thing? It looks like two wings coming it's out of It's like, that. yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like, like creepy Batman's or something like that. It really looks neat. It's like this. I don't know. You look around, you can see all these like weird chitinous kind of bones and horns yeah. and other kind of rather unpleasant. 
bits of structures and things like that that are native to Trigon's realm. So these, you know, you'll notice a lot of the demons too have spiky bits and kind of bat-like wings and things like the lust demons. So this kind of reflects their their theme and mo. All right, last one here. Station. You will not interfere. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Close. Okay. Got it. All right. So now we need to defeat the Invidious Spell Weaver, and there's all different named bosses, sub bosses out here. Uh, this is one of them right here, the Invidious Spell Weaver. She'll have a certain kind of. Uh, abilities and things like that. I think uh, around this side over here, there might be a couple of others. Let's see if I can find one. No, it might be actually on the far side over there, so I don't want to go too far looking for this stuff. But there are a bunch of uh, names. Uh, there's the Covetous Blade Master, for example. So each of these will have kind of a different way, a way you want to tackle them and fight them. What are you doing up here? You can make AFK. Just looking around. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm trying to give you a tour here. I know. I'm with you. I got distracted. <laughs> Did you? Don't don't lose anybody in the Gotham Wasteland. That would be bad for <laughs> I know. tourism. I know. I'd have my license revoked. Okay. That was weak. So, Invidious spell weaver. What does invidious mean? Uh, it's envious. Yeah. Probably a root of envious yeah. somewhere. That will definitely know, give I'd us a tactical SJ. advantage in the Nightstone okay, area. Head back to camp. All right, so that was one of the the missions we can do for Cyborg in this area. And again, just like the other area, we've got uh, a couple of quick travel methods for you to get back out of the area. You always have to travel to the area, but you can use these little forward bases with the teleporters to get back to the main garrison. And here we are back again. And you can see, as our efforts as heroes, we're actually using the portals that you would see in Gotham that the cultists are jumping Everyone out of and grabbing and abducting calm. people. It's the Sentinels right. are sending folks back on their way once they're rescued and getting them back home. All right, let's talk to Wonder Woman again. Thank you again for your help. Well, you're welcome. She kept it rather brief that time. Um, so now I've completed a certain amount of missions against Envy, and I've got two out of five, so if I do more of those throughout the week, um, I will be able to unlock that bonus mission. And so how many missions can you do per day? Uh, there are three per day, one at each of the areas. So you get a Wrath, more, Envy, and a Lust. More with replays if you wish. If you wish, if you wish. Okay, but you can also do the duos daily as well. So those right. are those are available to you. All right, so let's go um, let's go check out the lust area now. I will go and uh, actually let me get the um, let me get the mission up on my journal here. I believe it's this one. Yes. Okay. Team Jacob about to get a rude awakening from Team Spittle Meps. Hey, you know how they do, like, you know, K-Pat for Kristen Stewart and speaking of Team Jacob and stuff? Like, what would ours be? I think we need to ask the chat what the Spittle Meps combo would be. Because mm. sp Speps sounds, sounds bad. Yeah, that's bad. Metal. Metal, dude. Middle. Sp spittle. Middle. And Meps. Meh. Metal. Middle. Metal, metal, okay. yeah, but not middle. That's not really metal. It's middle. Dude, check out this big skull face right here. Hang on, I'm behind you. I'm in its nose cavity. Do you see me now? No, I went right past you. Oh boy, you can just look up. You can see oh, it. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Some of the lava things come out of structures like that too, and look pretty cool. All right, so uh, lust, uh, the lust area is in, as you can see right here in front of me. Amusement mile. Hey, let's go on a carnival ride. Yeah, well, you can in the duo. There's uh. Jacob is oh, using Wonder imps Woman. to collect lust energy. Find his couriers and release the energy they carry. We can't allow it to reach their masters. Okay, this area is super, super cool. I really like it a lot. The I find this of area have even more creepy than the other areas. Ragged citizens congregating around idols depicting Jacob. Nothing seems to take their attention away from his image. So let's take the idols away from them. We must free those poor souls. 
Okay, she's done. Um, so we'll head back to this area right here. I just ran into a less demon on the roof. So you can see these guys look very different now as well. And they have these wings, really cool wings. They've got the four eyes, obviously. That you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view of her. There's the lust demon. I think the new the new characters look really good. Really happy with how they turned out. So the tunnel of lust. Is there an age or a height requirement for this ride? I'm just curious. <laughs> yes, and you fail both. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, camera. Yep, there's a camera back there, one of the one of the cameras we talked about. And this area is really cool too because you can see like there's this weird mixture of like n like kind of buildings and things like that, but also the like the roller coaster that got mashed up and is is sort of like all over the place in here. You can see really really cool really cool stuff. All right, so we're in the area we need to be in. And oh, I do not want to drop down there. Okay, good. All right, so you can see what's happening here is that these fanatics, uh, are these these citizens have now ma been made to inf be infatuated with Jacob. And the lust cultists and the I lust demons are sleep. actually uh, making them build these statues and worship these statues. I belong to Jacob. So here you can see the actual statue of Jacob. And it is an, an actual statue of Jacob. You, you dare here. interrupt me? We want to try and destroy these. Get away from me! And before we are able, usually these lecherous cultists will come in, the image of and they Jacob. put a shield around him, uh, the statue, so we can't destroy it. And we're going to need to take them out Adore me. before we can do. And there's also all these imps around, so this you might have a mission hurt. to actually try and steal the energy you from the lust wreck. imp or a wrath imp or an envy imp, depending on which cult the imp is associated with. Um, I actually have that mission as well right now, which normally isn't possible, but um, I gave myself these other missions, so I had already picked that up naturally. Stop. I'm going to try and interact with this guy. <gasps> don't don't hit that lust imp. You no. Well. I hit it. Okay. Here, get the aggro on that guy while I destroy the statue. Nice. Okay, one statue down. We'll do that a couple more times. I'll take care of this demon, this imp. So I'm collecting their energy. You can see the special animation and effect that we have on that with the new interact icon. It gives you the kind of idea that you're casting a spell, doing some kind of magic. Oh, countered by the greater lust demon. Move the camera in a bit. All right, now we're going to get this statue that's right next to us here where these civilians are worshipping it. Try not to hit that lust in. Defile an image oh, too late. My Jacob. I didn't hit it. Don't let them destroy the idols. All you. You will worship Jacob. Oh. Nice. Destroy the statue. We got them to stop, stop casting the spell. There we go. If you can get them to stop casting the shield, you can go up and just destroy the statue early, obviously. I love the voices for the imps. And the imps kind of have this really cool look. They're sort of Trigon-esque themselves. Let's see if I can get a good view of him. Ouch! Pitiful. Stop that. Bitch. Join the cult of Alright, so let's find another one. One more statue. There's one right there. Don't so these are idols. Me and Jacob. Protect the idol. He's mine. I could stare at his face all I belong day. to Jacob. They are definitely on Team Jacob, as you can hear from their VO. Stop! Really into that guy. Jacob, save me. Get the statue. There we go. Those statues have a powerful corrupting influence to the point of inducing violent behavior. Find those responsible for the creation of the idols and stop them. 
How's everyone in the chat feel like Susan's doing as Wonder Woman? You guys like what you're hearing? I'll be by Jacob's Jacob. side tonight. I belong to Jacob. They say yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. They like the Susan Eisenberg. The chat lights up when I mention her name. I'm sure she'll be very pleased about that and quite flattered, actually, that you're all enjoying her work. Okay, here we are. Again, very tight areas back here. You can kind of see the remnants of Amusement Mile and various, this is various what I was uh, born to do. Me. Landmarks we have there. All right, so now we need to get these taskmasters the down. Check out what they're doing. You see this block of stone right here? This is what they're actually having these people carve the statues. Yeah, they're, they're making the, the civilians like show their devotion by actually carving the statue from these blocks of stone. So some of them are in different uh, states as well. I'm, try I'm sorry, I'm not fighting very well because I'm looking around for. It's like here's one over here. I'm just gonna rush this this group. Because you can see one of the statues kind of almost done being made. They're still carving Don't it stop. right here. Keep building. It's very cool. I will make you suffer. And we'll kill five of these guys or knock them out, so to speak. You need some help over there? How dare you? Oh, you're I got fine. It. I got. You're I got fine. Her. You're a pro. It's not like you're PvPing me or anything. That won't you're stop right. me. You desperately need help. You That's right. I said that. I said it. I'm just glad we're on the same, the same team right now, so you can't banana trinket me. <laughs> just blow me up, like I do to players on FNL, because I'm so kind like that, aren't I, Meps? Yeah, they don't really like that. <laughs> you don't like that, or they don't really like that. They love that. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Is usually the first thing that comes suffer. out of her mouth when I do that. Right. <laughs> Your insolence will be punished. Hampering the creation of idols will go a long way, but we must take out the demon in charge of this vile operation. Confront the graven succubus and put an end to this. Okay, now we're gonna go to another, another boss fight, sub boss fight here, named cult leader. You can see this is the male version of the Lust Demon here. He likes the Speedo. The Demon Speedo. The Demon Speedo should not be messed with. No. <laughs> Do not incur its wrath. How dare you? I need help! Alright. All right. Ah, oh, the demon imp. That hurts. I'm on an important mission. Oops, I pulled another one. Really? I'm not surprised. All right, here we go. The lust imp. Here we go. Stop. Oh. You're on your own. Computer locked again. There we go. Stop me. All right, can we get out of here now? Are you done? Yeah. Unnecessarily yeah, drawing aggro on things. Well, I'm almost done. Maybe. You've done well to disrupt Jacob's supply chain, but we need to take out the incubus that oversees the imps. The Sentinels have sent word that he's in the area. Find him and stop him. I'm a tourist. Him. It happens. All right, let me make sure I'm on the right mission here because we were on kind of two. Okay, in Jacob we trust good. And then there's the Lust Imp one that you've been seeing me make some progress on. Normally you'd only have one of these in here at a time because you can only pick up one from the quest givers, but I had interacted with them to show you the VO and then of course I needed to give myself the normal quest. Don't be confused. You'll be getting one at a time in these areas and when you go back to the garrison you can pick up another one. Just wanted to make sure that was clear. Okay, um, here we go. The Graven Succubus. There she is over there. All right, boss time. I will drain the life from you. Drop by drop. Oh, when in range. I am not amused. And so the, the cool part is, ah, she counter me. She's yeah, good. me too. Uh, she's, she's tough. She's got skill. Yep. She's reading me like a book. Uh, yep. She actually likes to block a lot, I've noticed. So. Watch for it. Uh, Could happen again. Uh, So you get rewards for this, and then you open up a second boss fight. 
Shutting down that factory will teach him some humility. Return to the garrison and speak with me. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the garrison again. That's where she wants us to go. Here's the end of the amusement mile area. You can kind of see some the endless sea that sort of goes on forever, this void. All right, and that's the return for the villains, and here's the return for the heroes. So we will head back to the garrison, back at home. And we can talk to Wonder Woman and we'll get credit for the Lust mission. I know this place can test even the greatest hero's resolve, but you're doing very well. Um, and that's a walkthrough of Gotham Wasteland. And uh, there's also, you can get some good VO from these guys. I'd rather be having a pint of anything, anywhere, other than here. I don't like standing around like this. I'd rather kick them in the bollocks myself so that they're close enough to hear my witty wisecracks. He said bollocks. I assume because he said it, I can say it now. So bollocks. you get your rewards for that, but then you also get a second boss fight in the duos once you do all five? Yeah, I was explaining that earlier. When you do, not when you do all five, when you do five missions from the Wrath area, right. you will unlock a bonus boss fight in the Wrath Cathedral. When you do five missions in the lust area you will unlock a bonus boss fight in the tunnel of lust and when you do five missions in the envy area you'll unlock unlock a bonus boss fight in the uh, night's dome arena uh, where each of the sons are so you, the normal boss fight will take place um, will be against jared in the cathedral and then jesse in the night's dome and jacob in the tunnel of lust and then each of the brothers one of the other brothers is joining them there's a lot of um randomness and and sort of surprise that goes on in the sub boss fights uh the bonus boss fights are always the same along with the end boss if you unlock them so but there are there's a lot of variety in each one depending on what uh what boss, or sorry, what sub boss might show up, whether it's Gentleman Ghost or you know, which one of the Titans or which one of the Fearsome Five would actually appear to do a ride along or oppose you. I'm honored to work alongside the Titans. Very cool. We have they a couple of requests to show the map of the strength. area. Do you want to do that? There it is. So, Trigon's prison in the center under the mausoleum. You'll be able to go there. It's the cathedral outskirts um, where the two teleporters are to go back to each of the main areas. And you've got the entrance to the cathedral here. This is the hero garrison on this side where we are right now. Across the way from that is the villain stronghold. And this is the envy area of the Night's Dome and the outskirts of the Night's Dome wastelands. And you've got your tunnel of lust area where Amusement Mile is over here. So that's the, that's the size of the zone right there. Um, you can see Zatanna here as well. She's, I think I showed her earlier. Starfire is flying around up here somewhere with Superboy on patrol. Usually you can kind of see her, her orange, bright orange. There she is, her and Superboy. Ooh, having a little rendezvous up there. Maybe we should look away, give them some privacy. Wonder Girl wow. and uh, Nightwing might get a little jealous. All right, we'll see. Well, you know, it is kind of a saucy place here with the, the lust and envy and the Titans are actually being affected by the sins, so they're kind of going after each other a little bit from time to time. Um, here you can see the Sentinel Will you help Bonet. Us Let's the go Sons ahead and go in here. You can kind of see the uh, price of these things, if you would like to, for the marks of reality that they will cost. And you can see all of the sets that are going on in here, each of the tank DPS. Um, I'll show one tank ones for me, obviously. If you're a healer, you see different ones in here. And, uh, yeah, that's... Something about this place interferes with technology. That's Gotham Wasteland. Enhancements Gotham Wasteland. aren't working so, as smoothly as they should be. That's what we have to show you today um, on that. Uh, Meps, I don't know if we want to take a few questions here for a little bit, or if there's anything, if you just want to kind of wrap, and and uh, well, it's up to you, my friend. Um, this is your show, even though you're not here with me, and you're in the Meps cave. The Meps cave is is pretty special. Let's take let's take a couple questions. I'm going to... Okay. Put the slow mode on the shoot. chat so we can actually read the right. chat. If you guys have questions about Gotham Wastelands, about stuff we've talked about today, go ahead and put them in the chat. Um, we're going to be looking at Celestial next week. so A lot of here. stuff we're looking at next week, actually. Oh, right? Um, well, yes, but a lot, we're live streaming Celestial. We are live streaming Celestial, and uh, from what I understand, we might be live streaming some characters that belong to something starting with L. I don't want to say it unless you're... 
We have a we have a special uh, FNL plan next week. Oh, so tune That's in for it. FNL if you want to see extra stuff on uh, DLC eight. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I like Legends. that. Legends right. characters. All right, shoot me some questions. I'm waiting for I'm, you to, to shoot I'm, them out. I, mean, I know you you're talking to me and then the chat oh. is so fast. Despite Sorry. the feathers, you know, it doesn't it's tickle pretty, at all. Pretty hard. Um, Somebody asked the item level, so I just went in and showed it in the interface. Perfect. Uh, is the Gotham map still intact, the original Gotham? Of course. The Gotham, Gotham, as you know it right now, is not changing, not going away. We can't just wipe that clean and get rid of all the content that new players need to level. And we also want that common place where people can come, and it is Gotham City. Um, as you might have heard from our keynote address at SOE Live, we are going to be doing some things with Metropolis and Gotham in the future that involve sort of wiping away the content, reskinning them, but those will be different versions of the cities. You will always have the standard launch Metropolis and the standard launch Gotham City to go to. Do you know if the... the uh Wrath Demon Trinket is getting upgraded with the new models. Yeah, uh, somebody asked that at SOE Live as well, and we wrote that down uh, as a note to make sure that it would. Um, uh, I think I'm not sure that they remembered that uh, right off the bat. If they did, then and we have the window to, and it's done already. Great. Uh, it might just auto-populate that because of the character body data that got swapped. Uh, if not, we'll try and get in there right away, but it, it may be an update after launch. I don't know exactly when they're going to be able to get the work in because we, you know, we, we're all in all these submissions right now and we have things going through various branch or builds and branch structures and stuff. So uh, the answer is the intention is yes. Uh, all of the demon forms that you see, including the demons that show up when Black Adam's in Brother Blood mode in Kondok, uh, stuff in the open world, any kind of uh, form changes and disguises you get, the intent is that those are all supposed to be the new demon forms. Um, you know, if, you, if you're if you in-game and you, you see one that didn't get updated, please let us know in Arkham Asylum on the forums in the bug section, because we would like to get that updated. Are there new collections, briefings, and investigations? Yes, there are. Uh, there are. There are collections, briefings, and investigations. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, maybe I'll fly around a little bit and see if I can find one uh, while you're looking at the chat and asking questions. There certainly are collections. You'll see them uh, in various places out in the world here, sometimes on the tops of buildings and the cliffs and nestled in. There certainly are um, player briefings, greens and blues in the investigations. You'll see a lot of those. The Nightwing does the investigations, uh, I believe, or the player briefings, sorry. So you can hear him kind of commenting on, you know, all of the other titans and the f effects that the sin energy is having on them and, you know, who's being affected by what and how. And uh, my favorite one is where he sort of boasts how you know he is he is unaffected by the by the by the energy for some reason and of course that's pride that he's being affected by because it's his, his skills and training like here's an investigation right here this isn't quite related Since but you sure. follow your heart why fight it it's easy to come back to your family we won't even make you work for it just come on back we're one big happy family. So that was uh, uh, Jack, who is Sloth. And he basically all of the investigations that you'll see are Raven's brothers trying to woo her to their side to join them in the fight so they can be a complete family. And each one kind of takes a very appropriate and different method to do that with her. So the, those are the kind of things you'll see in the blues and in the greens you're going to get the Nightwing tactical briefs and it's things like that. It's all very Nightwingy, Batman-y kind of investigation stuff. And then you'll, oh, I thought that was a collection. And there are yellows around in here for different collections as well. So you can get the various pieces of the cultist armor and stuff by doing those. What else? What else you got? Well, are, there, one are, there, are there yeah, are there drops out here in the solo area? Uh there's uh the trash will drop some things, some of the sub bosses. I, I would have to check on that. I actually don't know offhand to be honest with you. Um I really only know the loot stuff. Uh, here's a collection. But yes, I believe so. Standard kind of loot tables and normally if you'd have a sub boss out there to drop something, it will drop something in here. But I'd have to get back on specifics. 
So here's a con consume portal scroll. I will collect. Here is that chit of exaltation that I will collect as well. Maybe I'll just. Should I open all these lock boxes I got? Just to taunt people? Yeah. Let's see what I get. Oh, a style. Ooh, another style. Housing item. Another style. Housing item. Oh no, that's a supply box. Hold on. No, it's a gargoyle statue. It is a housing item. More housing items. Love that. Ooh, style. Ooh, housing item. We have said the CR required Ooh, is 84. Purple, I've already got. I've already got those. Another aura. Blue. Got that as well. Let's see what styles I'm getting here. Cybernetic, Noble Warrior, Cybernetic, so Cyborg stuff, Wonder Woman stuff. Nice, and look at all the marks of reality. I'm rolling in the dough, Mips. That's, That's what life nice. is like on the on the internal Smallville server where we test, <laughs> where we have QA test if lockboxes are working. They like them, they like them falling really fast so they can make sure the stuff's coming out of it right. All right. all right. Are we good? Well, it looks like that's all the relevant questions. Okay, um, yeah, everyone just probably spamming celestial, celestial, celestial. A little Other bit of than that. that. Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, but so for that, tune in next week. Um, not sure exactly which day it's going to be, but we will uh, fill you in and get that posted uh, for next week. And tune in tomorrow for FNL. We have a special USPS3 PvP tournament. Yeah, that should uh, be fun. Everybody's, everybody's asking about when the DLC comes out, and we will let you know um when we can it uh, it actually is i hate to say it you know soonish soonish, soonish. It'll, well, it'll definitely be on pc test soon mm -hmm. cool. it people will people will be able to check that out soon yep so we're, we're getting there we're getting there um, all right well uh thank you everyone for showing up and uh checking out the gotham wastelands portion of dlc 8 sons of trigon i think it's turned out quite well you got a glimpse at all some of the new character models and the, the different the gear styles that we have all the new npcs that are going to be making appearances those important iconics that are so integral to the story got to see a little bit about the environment kind of how the content is structured and what it's going to be like out there and i think you can see it's a incredibly cool environment with a lot of activity to do the fact that this is a cross faction zone too is going to be really exciting so people can get in here and have some fun with each other um, while they're doing their pve they might get a little pvp action in there so we'll see what players do with that you know how they love to make up their own games and activities in these spaces so i'm seeing i'm interested in seeing what kind of fight club comes out of gotham wastelands how about you maps yeah i'm actually going to take advantage of that i think but you don't want to reveal anything <laughs> no trinkets though well, we'll see. No trinkets. All right. Um, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Maps, for, for joining me. Uh, hopefully, I pressed the proper buttons that I need to to get this done. If you want uh, to follow me on Twitter, at Spittle. If you want to follow DCU, it's at DCUO on Twitter. You can obviously join us on our uh, Facebook and uh, on the forums as well. So thanks again. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.